My name is Marta, in this Red Gaming Tech video I have a bit of a combo for you and we're going to start off with a little sampling from Intel as I have the specs, performance and benchmarks for the Intel Core i7 8550U which is a mobile variation on a Coffee Lake chip. Now of course laptops are always going to be less powerful than their desktop counterparts you know, even when they're using the sort of same architecture you know we see in like the mobile variations of 1080 they're still damn impressive but obviously they're not as impressive as their desktop counterparts and obviously it's going to be the case here with coffee lake but what we're seeing here is not only a fairly impressive jump versus its predecessor but also a really nice usage of the power now obviously when it comes to laptops that is one of the most important things is how much power is this using because you want to get the most out of your battery charge and this chip is looking fairly impressive in both respects and given that batteries have not really been doing anything exciting in the world of laptops as of late this is really really important that you make the most energy efficient chips as possible but this new i7-8550U is really good with a tiny TDP of 15 watts and can actually go toe to toe with some of the most popular processors on the market, the i5 6300Q, sorry, HQ, and the i5 7300HQ. And not only that, it actually crushes its direct predecessors, the i7 7500U and the 7600U. And you might say, okay, well, how does it crush it? Where does it crush it? Well, basically, it has a 50% performance jump over the 7500U. And it's just 5-7% to 7 below the i5-7300 HQ in Cinebench. Now basically you'll see a screenshot on screen right about now from Laptop Media where you can see the results for yourself. And they are rather tasty to say the least. But what about, you know, working? And all the people will use their laptop not just for gaming but obviously doing a little bit of work on the train, you know. And making use of that travel time by getting a little extra work done, maybe some hobby stuff. So, Laptop Media also took a look at how it actually f functions or does with Photoshop. And obviously Photoshop is rather CPU intensive. And as you can see, it does do fairly well in that as well. Obviously, it isn't just the CPU doing the work here. You have to make sure you have enough RAM as well. That is pretty damn important. But... It's good to know that the CPU isn't doing any bottlenecking or anything like that. So, there you have it. That's pretty much it from Camp Intel today. But, I have some news from the world of the Xbox One X. Now, obviously, before we learned the title of the console, which I'm still not overly keen on, I'm going to be real with you. It, of course, was known under a codename Project Scorpio. And, to be honest, Scorpio would have been a much cooler name for it, but, you know, that's... A whole different thing that's not what they went for but if you want you can actually get your hands on a Xbox One X that does actually have the Project Scorpio naming on it it's a unique day one edition of the console that retains the working title at least according to leaks from German retailer Saturn and Media Marked now both of these listings have been pulled but not before the internet as quick on its toes as ever managed to get the images of the console where you can see the markings of Project Scorpio of both the console itself and the controller and the console also has a slightly different design than the actual console in terms of the look and feel of it you know obviously the shape is still the same that sort of thing but it does look different as well as the difference in the Project Scorpio namesake on it. And our last thing from the world of Xbox is actually a confirmation that the rumoured Recall Definitive Edition is indeed a thing. It's going to be releasing on August 29th for $19.99. It's going to have some new content as well as a new core bot frame and HDR support. So, those of you who believe that rumour, well done. You were right. Excuse me, knocking my cup over there. Thankfully, it didn't have anything in it. So, with all that said, thank you very much for watching. Your support really does make us mean a great deal to us. There we go. I can do English. I, I can do words. I can. Thank you very much, though, guys. I'll see you next time.